tonight is about Flickr. It's about that other R brand and how we can make Flickr awesome again. We've made Flickr spectacular. Full resolution photos up, full resolution photos down. When you upload and share your photos, you don't lose any fidelity. No one else does that. No one else does that by default, for sure, in terms of really preserving your photos and making them shareable in their full fidelity. We also have created an Android app that allows your photos to be wherever. And this is in addition to our iOS app and PC. So wherever you are, whatever device, any screen, any friends, you can upload your photos, you can share your photos. Flickr works on all major platforms. And finally, bigger. The terabyte of space that's now available to our users. And earlier today, we were going over various statistics. So there's all kinds of fun ways to slice and dice this number. But the one that I thought was really striking is if we take the users that are on Flickr today, those 89 million users, and we scale them up to the terabyte, all of the photos that have ever been taken in the world fit inside of it. We're, we're allocating that much space. And not only do they fit inside of it, they fit inside of it 10 times over. So if you take all the photos, <laughs> yes, I think that would be So if you take all the photos ever taken in the entire world and uploaded them to Flickr, they would only take one-tenth of the space that's available to our current users. This is about putting lifetimes of photos on Flickr and, and absorbing all of the beauty that is, that is a photograph into our daily habits. I also think it's worthwhile to look at the before and after shots because it helps you really understand how far the products come. So yesterday, this was the Flickr homepage, or actually an hour ago, this was the Flickr homepage. Now this is the Flickr homepage. It's all about the photographs. <laughs> Yesterday, this was your photo stream. Those photos that were being uploaded, this is what it looked like. Not very much about the photo. Lots of white space, lots of text. Now. This is what your photo stream, your profile page, looks like on Flickr. A cover photo, full bleed images, and a justified view of photographs. In terms of the overview of your sets, what we call your, al your albums are called sets on Flickr, it used to look like this. Again, not very much about the photograph. Today, the view of a user sets, of a user sets look like, looks like this. Really exciting, very immersive. And of course, viewing photos, which is what people do on Flickr. It used to look like this. Again, not much about the photos. A map, lots of comments, lots of blue links. We decided that when you're viewing photos on Flickr, it should be about the photos. So we're going to full justified photographs that really take up the whole screen, use the full resolution. And we embody that same thing with a full screen slideshow available for your viewing and for your sharing on Flickr. And finally, search. This, of course, search is near and dear to Yahoo's heart. This is what search on Flickr looked like yesterday. And this is what search looks like today. Bigger images, more immersive, more expressive, a better answer to the user's query. We're really excited about all of the updates to the interface. We think it makes, makes Flickr a much more awesome product.